Good morning, everybody. So today we got a walking bridge we're doing. This thing's about five inches thick. As you can see, it's got a matter rebar, number four rebar. Number, actually, there's some number fives in there too. About six inches on center. It's 53 feet long, eight feet wide. And we're gonna match, we're gonna match these side rails on it. So that, that kind of makes it easy to go by. Broom finish, um, got 4,500 PSI concrete coming for this. And we're gonna use, we're gonna use some day one finishing aid on it when we both float, just because sometimes the higher PSI concretes with the cement content, they make, you know, they, the surface will dry up on them a little bit, make them a little hard to finish. So we're gonna use the day one on it. We're actually at a hospital. So this, there's a big cancer center over there. And, and this one over here is like the general, the main general hospital over here, the big hospital. So it's just a little bit of a footpath for the people to be able to walk from one to the other. This is, this is the day one finishing aid we're gonna use today. I'll just put it in a little spray bottle. We'll spray it on, both load it in. Um, just gives, a, gives you a little bit more working time. It's designed for hot, dry, and windy conditions. Reduces effervescence. You know, it just helps finish the concrete a little bit easier, and that's what it's designed for. So that's we're going to use that today. So. Yeah, I, I think we give that seven or eight more. Give it a little more. If you don't mind, I might, once you get ready, I might back you up another two or three feet. Hold up and get that pull down, make sure we ain't high. We can almost take them down as we go, Javi, if you okay. want. Yeah. Yep.
just a finishing aid like it helps keep the moisture from evaporating too early I so gotcha. on these high psi mixes they, uh, the surface kind of crusts over makes it hard to finish gotcha. this is supposed to just help with that gotcha. keep it creamy yeah especially when there's a little wind like this yeah 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 what do we need a couple shovelfuls there Okay. Yeah, we can put it right on the ground here if you want. We'll shovel it in. I might be able to get it in there without making too much of a mess. Let him know. That's good, Matt. Thank you. No, thank you. Where can I walk? Anywhere you want, bud. Anywhere you want. No, we don't want him. We don't. I mean, <laughs> you can tell he's got that, like. So it's been about an hour and a half after the pour. Still just a little soft, but we're gonna go out and test it. It's 4,500 PSI concrete, plus kind of out in the sun. It's not that warm today, but you know, it's gonna go from being not ready to definitely, you know, ready in a, in a very short amount of time. And a lot of times with the high PSI concrete, the surface wants to dry out on this stuff. So, you know, we don't want to get on it too late, that's for sure. But I'm going to get out and test it. If it's too soft, we'll just get off it. If it's just right, then we'll get on it and stop rooming it. Wouldn't want to wait much longer down here. We'll be throwing water on it. It's not like it's, yeah, it feels ready. Could probably skid across, I don't know. I think you can try it. We're going to try one guy on one side, yep. and then if me and Luke can mag, we can set it down. This guy can pull it for a minute until it gets to there, then the guy on the outside can finish. Okay. And then if we need to just touch up a small piece, we got the other broom right here. I think we'll try that. Okay. I think we'll use that broom, and then I'll just take that one and set it in here. This one on the yeah, I'll just set it behind me for now. Yep, you're all right, I'll fix it. I'll get it with this. Perfect. All right, there. Yeah. All right, guys, so let me know down in the comments what you think of that stiff concrete we had to pour. I mean, it was a six-inch slump, but that's, if you've watched any of my other videos, that's a lot stiffer than we normally pour. And, it, you know, it, it ended up working out okay. This, this isn't like a huge project, 53 by 8. But, and then, you know, it's cold, it's kind of chilly out, it's dry, it's windy, so that day one finishing aid, that really helped a lot too. The, as we mag the surface out here, it is it is a little dry, but it's not ripping and tearing like it would normally would on a windy day, so that's working out good too. And we're working our way along, you know, thank God we had an extra guy here, Harvey, you know, and he was willing to jump on the outside because when you can when you can pull the broom more or less basically just one way on a broom finish it comes out much nicer in my opinion than you know if i was trying to broom it myself in there as i work my way backwards sometimes you'll tend to get the broom marks a little crooked or a little diagonal or whatever but 
it was just enough of a beam for Harvey to walk on. It was about a four to five inch wide beam over there. He could rest his feet on and move his way down as we're going. And, you know, we just had to work it through all those ballasts there. So that's going pretty good so far. And then if you haven't seen part one of this, part one of this was when they tested the concrete. They, the people we're working for actually hired a tester and he came and tested and slump and all that stuff. So I'll put a link for that down in the description. One of the reasons we don't steel trial our finishes here in Maine is because, you know, if you watch the first video, you'll, you'll see this has air entrainment in it. The steel trial, it, it seals the surface off and you're more apt to trap some of that air just below the surface even though you're brooming it you can still trap some and then that causes a blister and all kinds of bad things yeah that made it pretty easy i don't know how easy it was for you but <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Broom finish. It actually didn't float out too bad, so it made it real easy with four guys, too. You can see the working our way through all that railing, kind of tricky. Whenever you broom finish, it's nice to broom and not have to stop and start, not have to go both ways if you don't need to. Just makes the broom marks come out nice and straighter, a little more even. But that worked out really good with Javi out there on the outside. So we're going to... Put up our caution tape hope nobody walks on it usually the caution tape attracts people and they want to go under it and walk on it so we'll see what happens but that's it guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one